Hello and welcome. It's your girl, Victoria S. Here again with your educational how to videos in six minutes or less. Today, our featured tech tool is Brain Pop. Let's get it. Today, I switched it up a little bit. We're going to talk about what is Brain Pop and also how to use Brain Pop. Brain Pop is an online educational site and app that features short animated videos on it. Most educators are very familiar with Brain Pop. However, there is a new teacher analytic feature that allows for teachers to create assessments and assign videos and activities for students. And then students have an individual login feature that I'm going to focus on in this video today. Now, I wanted to quickly go over. So, the teacher plan is $230 a year and that allows you the video and quiz and the basic activity access. And then you have the school plan for $18.95 a year and that allows you the major upgrade where you get the individual student accounts, the roster uploading, the customer um, assessments and assignments, as well as you get to monitor students' um, progress. So then if you wanted a district purchase, then they will have to contact Brain Pop for pricing on that. I will say that there is also a family plan and the family plan allows you the same access as the teacher plan but at a price of $115. So I'll just let that marinate for a second. Okay, moving right along. The homeschool rate is $240 a year and it allows you three student accounts and the custom assignments but no progress monitoring. Okay, so let's jump into how to brain pop. So when you go to the home page at brainpop.com, then you're going to have a variety of subjects and within those subjects they have units. And then once you're inside of the units, you will see the topic. See exponents here. Clicking on that topic and I see that they have movies, quizzes, make a map, movies, coding, related, um, related readings, worksheets, rapid organizer, vocabulary, and games. Most of the topics will have all of these features. Um, the quiz can be a review quiz or a graded quiz. The review just means that they will give you the answers as you go, question by question, and graded means they will give you the results after you have completed the quiz. Then you could, um, good readings. I like vocabulary activities. Graphic organizers are good. They, the games, um, are pretty decent as well they have worksheet options and then um, these are usually with an upgrade if you're going to be able to make a movie or do the coding activities and sometimes even to make a map but those are the basic features that we pretty much are familiar with if you even heard of brain I want to go to my dashboard to show you the new feature where students are able to log on and teachers are able to monitor their progress you can see that my classes are already preloaded here. If I wanted to add a new class, I would just click here on new class, give it a name and hit create. I've already done that here, so I'm just gonna go here and show you how students would be added into this class. So I would just display this class code or I create a little index card and put the code on there or print this out and let students join themselves one by one in order to add them to this particular class that I created. In order to create a new assignment, I just click here on new assignment. I have access to both Brain Pop and Brain Pop Junior, but I'm going to click on Brain Pop Junior and then put in the. Then I'm going to click search. Once I have added my topic, and then I, these are the options that I have to assign to my students. So I want to assign the movie, the quiz, whether I want to review or grade it. I'm going to click grade it and then I maybe want them to have some vocabulary practice then I will hit next and you can see those assignments are there I can give them additional instructions I don't think they need any then you're going to select the class in which you want to assign you can pick a due date or you can schedule it out for later and that is it the last feature that I'm going to discuss is the quiz mixer. And if you go to the quiz mixer, this is how you create your own assessments or a test. Just click on new quiz. You can give it a type. Then you have the option of creating your own questions 
And you can also tailor to the type of question, whether open-ended, or you can make it a poll. And then this is the feature that I favor the most, where you type in your topic and then you can pull questions from educators who already created them and then just add them in like so. And once you have that done, you can click finalize. You can decide on the type of what the interview mode or the graded mode. You can click whether you want to be able to be accessible for other, ed for other educators. And then you can add a code also or have it auto -joined. And that is it. And that is Brain Pops in six minutes or less. Please remember to like and subscribe below. Victoria is out. Continue to empower.